Oh, hi. Good evening. I can see your people are joining. And um, good welcome to, um, yes, Thursday night prayer. I normally do Tuesday, um, but as you're aware, through Lent, um, we're do the church are doing a um, Lent course. So Father Taman is um, sort of going through that on Tuesday night. So here I am on Thursday. So yes, welcome. Who am I? You probably know. Um, but if not, uh, my name's Dave Jenner, one of the church wardens at St George's Church, Enfield, Freezy Water, and welcome to Night Prayer Compline on the 10th of March. Um, so yes, we'll, uh, we'll make a start. Good evening, every one of you. Most welcome. The Lord Almighty, grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. And our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your spirit and rise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. And glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Before the ending of the day, creator of the world, we pray, that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams, defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe, that we no sinful fault may know. O Father, let we ask be done through Jesus Christ, your only Son. And Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Okay, now tonight's psalm for today um, is Psalm 134. Come, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, you that by night stand in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands towards the sanctuary and bless the Lord. The Lord who made heaven and earth give you blessing out of Zion. And glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Yes, very short psalm tonight. One, three, four. It's only three verses long. Um, so we now have, um, I've selected the usual two hymns for tonight. Um, we're sort of between first Sunday in Lent to the second Sunday in Lent. So it's hymns that are used, um, not all of them, obviously, this period of time. Um, and the two I've chosen tonight out of our hymn book you will know very well um, and the first one I will just get it up for you um, I, it probably needs no introduction but I will say it, it's um, guide me O the great redeemer Good Welsh song.
Well done there. You, um, well done. Um, yes, you might have noticed. Um, it's probably say a hymn that you all know. Probably knew the words as you saw that last bit. Those last couple of lines when they did added a bit. That was um, in Welsh. Um, I don't know if any of you speak Welsh, but uh, yes, it was nice to see. I, I think it's um, from a Welsh cathedral. That choir um, with the congregation. So lovely hymn. And as I say, we all know it, very popular. Um, so now we move on to our scripture reading for today, um, which is taken from John chapter 6, verse 1 to 15. Um, and you'll probably gather, when I start, this is um, one of the well-known passages in the Bible, a well-known story. After this... Jesus went across Lake Galilee, and a large crowd followed him, because they had seen his miracles of healing those who were ill. Jesus went up a hill and sat down with his disciples. The time for the Passover festival was near. Jesus looked around and saw that a large crowd was coming to him, so he asked Philip, where can we buy enough food to feed all these people? Philip answered, For everyone to have even a little, it would take more than 200 silver coins to buy enough bread. Another of his disciples, Andrew, who was Simon Peter's brother, said, There is a boy here who has five loaves of barley, bread, and two fish but they will certainly not be enough for all these people. Make the people sit down, Jesus told them. So all the people sat down, and there were over 5,000 men. Jesus took the bread, gave thanks to God, and distributed it to the people who were sitting there. He did the same with the fish, and they all had as much as they wanted. When they were all full, he said to his disciples, Gather the pieces left over, let, not, let us not waste any. So they gathered them all up, and filled twelve baskets with the pieces left over from the five barley loaves which the people had eaten. Seeing this miracle that Jesus had performed, the people there said, Surely this is the prophet who was to come into the world. Jesus knew that they were about to come and seize him in order to make him king by force. So he went off again to the hills by himself. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And as I said, probably one of the well-known parables of the Bible that um, we all know. Um, so we now have our... Um, the Church of England prayer for today, um, which I said is Thursday, the 10th of March. Um, so if you're able to, uh, we'll bow, bow our heads for this prayer. Heavenly Father, your Son battled with the powers of darkness and grew closer to you in the desert. Help us to use these days to grow in wisdom and prayer, that we may witness to your saving love, in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So we have our second hymn for tonight, um, yet again chosen from um, coming up to second Sunday in Lent. Um, and yet again, um, it is one from the first note, you'll all know. Um, personally, it's one of my favourites. Um, I had it um, at my wedding to my wife, so um, yes, um, a very sort of English-British national hymn. So uh, let me get it for us. Let's 
get back to the beginning. Here we go. Sorry about that. Thank you, Carol. Well, I'm sure that's got the old heart beating. Some nice comments from some of you there. Um, yes, the two hymns tonight probably, as I say, needed no introduction. We all know them well. Um, and it's um, uh, nice to hear. So, thank you. Um, okay, now we have, we will say the Lord's Prayer together. So if you're able to, please join in and we will say the Lord's Prayer. Our Father... Who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Okay, so we, we finish with our ending prayer and conclusion. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace, and your word has been fulfilled. Mine own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel, a glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Visit this place, O Lord, we pray, 
and drive far from it the snares of the enemy. And may your holy angels dwell with us and guard us in peace. And may your blessing always be upon among us. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And in peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus. For the night is at hand, and the day is now past. And as the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. And come with the dawning of the day, and make yourself known in the breaking of the bread. And the Lord bless us and watch over us, and the Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. And the Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. So a big thank you to everyone who's joined tonight or watches it later, um, tonight prayer on this Thursday evening. Um, next time we'll probably, I will probably see you, those who are in church on Sunday or those who will be joining us online. Um, th yeah, this Sunday, second Sunday in the month, is um, we'll pray Sunday, um, our family service, which is um, normally very good. So if you can come or please join us online at 10 o'clock, it'd be lovely to see you all. So have a, a lovely evening, rest of your evening, and have a pleasant um, day tomorrow, and hopefully I will see you on Sunday. God bless.